Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Way back in its early origins, the Fiesta Bowl was sort of viewed as a way to get a local team into the postseason. Those days are long gone. Some of the great stars in recent college football history have played in this venue and in this game. Another chapter will be written in this one in the Fiesta Bowl. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. We haven't even kicked off yet, and these fans are already going crazy for the Tostitas Fiesta Bowl here in Glendale, Arizona. And now let's head down to the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Bowling Green will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 23. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They're about four yards away here on second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. They went back to the exact same play they just ran, and judging by the slow reaction on the other side of the ball, it was unexpected. the ball for a nice game. game seven yards. That'll bring up second, and three. second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick throw. He's taken down at about the 49. So they'll pick up a first down there on a four-yard completion. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. Steps out of bounds at the 48. That'll make it second and seven. From the 48-yard line, second down. Let's it go. And it's picked off. And they'll return this one all the way. Brought down at the 45. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Nice run up the middle. Stewart gets seven yards on the play. That makes it second and two. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 28. Zach, 
Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Hey, check by 25, check by 25. Hang on, Lisa. Ready! Out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. A pickup of about three. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. And down he goes at the 17-yard line. Statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. And he converts the extra point. So a six-play, 45-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. The Falcons are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Mike 14. Mike 14. He's got it out to his tight end. He's knocked out of bounds around the 30-yard line. make it fourth down and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Hogan awaiting the return. Hogan takes it at the 32. Gets to about the 41 yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Bowling Green is up by a touchdown. He's going to try and scramble, and he's sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 36. He scrambled. Breaks one. Tackle at about the 45. That'll bring up third and six. man watch out here and they push him out around the 38 yard line this isn't even the best example but I'm gonna tell you something this young man is really getting better at running his routes which is a truly underrated quality these days first down 10 to go ball on the 38 made at the 22-yard line. That's a big game there for the offense, and all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. Hey, 
First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Bowling Green is up a score. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Good outside run there. Around five yards there on the option keep. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Flyers out quickly to the tailback, and they hit him in the backfield. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Bowling Green is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Bowling Green's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. It's second and 13. Ball on the 18-yard line. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. around five yards gained there on the play for the tailback. Well, the important thing is they were able to pick up the first down, and they're really starting to show how much they're relying on this halfback to do all of the work, and right now he's looking pretty good. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds at the 43. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Taken down around the 44-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Larry, Larry. Mike 14. Mike 14. Mike. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Third and ten. Ball on their own 48. He's got to throw it in a hurry. You know, at that point, I think Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. He takes it in at the 14. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. 
We played one quarter. The Falcons lead 10 0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And off, and he's met immediately. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page. And then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 22. Here we go. Line 80. Line 80. Looking for his man, incomplete. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. He's at midfield. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. And he throws right away. Incomplete. Almost picked off. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now he tries to buy some time, and they make the stop around the 46-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. He fights forward to about the 46. I think the play call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up a fourth down, but give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Falcons over the years have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them. Because, it's, again, he's making great throws. He's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership. And that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. He's tackled at the 26. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. for the first and he stops. That's a loss of two yards on the play. And 
he's taken down at the 37 yard line. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Gets it out in a hurry. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. From the 43-yard line, first down. They hand it off. He steps out at about the 39-yard line. That makes it second and six. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Brought down at the 42-yard line. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Zips it to the back. Big opening. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Gets out to around the 22. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He laterals. Gets out to about the 21. Around the 24-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They'll line it up again on third down. Mike 14. Mike 14. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Dumps it incomplete, wanted the screen. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and it's good. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games that you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possession. He gets rid of this one. their own 25-yard line. Second down. Bowling Green up seven points. He gets rid of this one. by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Yeah. 
and he can't hang on to the ball. And he's tackled at the 39. I'll tell you, few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. You gotta seed the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And a quick throw, and down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, first down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. He gets hit out of bounds at the 38-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Throws and it's incomplete. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle right around the 24 yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Five wide. receiver and he's hit immediately Minnesota will have one timeout remaining they need about three yards to get the first here on second down See if they can get the quarterback to attempt to pass this time. Well, that's true, Brad. That was a tough play for this young man to make. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And what a play by the kicker to take him down. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Bowling Green is up by four. He's under pressure. He zips it out to the left. Picked off. It's the quarterback. Tackle made the 39-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39. Hits him hard at the 29-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down at the 21. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. We played a half of football here. Bowling Green's up by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bean all <laughs> over the yard 
big numbers on offense, pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offense is working. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it. And the scoreboard just goes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Bowling Green is up four. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. From their own 25-yard line, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he is drilled at the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Here's a running play. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 27. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it 76. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Crawford is waiting for the snap. Hogan fields it at the 26, and down he goes at the 31. They're ready to begin another drive. Bowling Green holds a four-point lead. He fights forward to about the 33. That's good for game two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 33-yard line. Laterals back. 
and they get him in the backfield for a loss. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. They come out on an empty backfield. Out of bounds around the 33-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Mike 14, Mike 14. Oh. Nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on second down. He just timed the snap count there. It really made a nice play. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Brought down at the 28. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Bowling Green is up by four. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 43. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 28. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's into the open field. He's tackled right around the 20. That's a That makes it second and two. He's hit and got away. Halfback pass. This one will fall incomplete. A halfback is usually not used to making throws like that. Questionable call, but at least they're mixing up their offense a bit and trying to keep the defense on their toes. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Gets it out quickly. They bring him down at the 22. That's a two-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Bowling Green is up four. Kicks away, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
He's to the 20. Tackle at the 21-yard line. The Falcons continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Zips it to the back. And he's tackled around the 19-yard line. Second down and 12. Ball on the 19. Mike 14. Mike 14. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Complete, and that will make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Crawford to punt. Bumble! And the defense picks it up, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the call on the field will be reversed. Bowling Green is up a score. He guns it to the right. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. He's got room to run. Gains his way to the seven-yard line. That makes it first and goal. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. Hoping to double their lead here as they close in on the goal line. Oh, here we go. Oh. Ready. Ready on the five. Play. Oh, 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 oh. Nice run, and he's brought down. Stewart gets about four yards on the draw play. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Falcons! What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. The Falcon staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at, uh, at the front leading the way. 
into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Here we go! Three, five. Looks left, finding his tailback, and he shoved out of bounds around the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, second down. under pressure had his hands on it and dropped it number six the intended receiver on the play that'll make it fourth and six Hogan back to return it he's to the 40 and he's tackled at the 47 yard line Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He makes his way to about the 42. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. throw and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the nine yard line that makes it first and goal It to his receiver. Touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he hits the PAT with a three-play, 53-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So the score now, 27-6. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. To him again, complete. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. Spencer picks up around five yards with that catch. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. Once and all, going deep. Almost picked off. Number four, the intended receiver on the way. So they're going to go for it here. 
There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Black five, black. Kill, kill. Panther two. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes at the 39. Down and he's going to get sacked. They come up to the line here at second down and 14 after the sack. Pass man open and he dropped it. This is the eighth play of this drive. They come out in a five wide set. Man, two. Seven, red, motion, motion, motion. Easy, easy. Flare. Flare. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions and especially when the defense starts to get pressure you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it and he's taken down at the 43 this offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive and they ended up with a touchdown you know when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far this defense coordinator got to be livid He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. From their own 44-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he just gets rid of it. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. From the 34 yard line, first down. Run play and he'll lose yards. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. Under heavy pressure. Got him on the screenplay. He's at the 20. Inside the 10, and he hits him hard at the seven yard line. Number three on the tackle at the seven yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Tackle. 
the six. That last pass got him only a yard. This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. So that was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. From the six-yard line, second down, less than three minutes in the game. made at the three. So they pick up three on the option keeper. They're at the three. Third down. start there. Ball start. Ball start. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Stewart gains about five yards on the run. Kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Bowling Green's got one of the best quarterbacks in the business. He played like one on that last drive. Now that drive was huge. He set up that game-winning field goal. The quarterback at times just looked so relaxed back there, like he was just playing a video game, just making good decisions and moving the ball right down the field for that game-winning kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. We have less than a minute to go. Going deep. Incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 24. He wants it all going long. That close to being intercepted. Number six, the intended receiver on the way. Third down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 14. Mike 14. Look, he's best look. Pitchy, no, pitchy. Oh, oh, they keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. So a running play on third and long. That's them very little yardage. Now you can't do that when you're losing a ball game. Now's the time to take your shots downfield. Crawford is waiting for the snap. Calls for the fair catch. The Falcons coaching staff stuck to their game plan. It works. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for coming up with a plan where they knew they could find ways to get him the football. Even with all the recognition and defense being concerned about him, they came up with that plan and this young man delivered. Here we go! He's tackled around the 46 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Man left, man left. This one's in the books. The Falcons with the victory 30 to 6. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Minnesota probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to.
Here's another look at our selection for the EA Sports Player of the Game. For the Falcons, today's win puts them in the prestigious 10-win category for the season. And for Minnesota, they drop below 500 on the season with today's loss.